This video shows us how to make our Picasso guitar background. So the guitar is a separate portion of the project. Today we're going to work on this really colorful background that you see behind the guitar. You will need a piece of small white paper, a box of crayons, please check to make sure that they're crayons, not pastels, a pencil, and a marker. Using a pencil, put your name and teacher code on the back. We want to mimic Picasso's cubism style, so we're going to break our background into shapes by adding about six lines. So your lines should touch each side of the paper or another line. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so notice they're either gonna go from a line to an edge or another line to another line. Next you'll use a marker to go ahead and trace carefully all of your pencil lines. We are ready to start adding color, but what we're going to do is we're going to add some crayon lines in here first so that we can kind of hide the areas that are outlined with marker and the areas that are cut. You'll understand more later if you don't quite yet. So make a choice on some colors and you're going to start by just adding some additional lines with crayon. Any color you choose is okay. And after you have your extra lines, you're going to start adding some color. Make sure you're coloring very dark and you're going pretty slow. You don't want to go so fast that you tire out your hand and your arm quicker than you need to. So if you notice, I am not leaving white spaces. I'm going as dark as I can. So I don't want to see this. I want to see nice dark coloring. So take your time, do your best to stay inside the lines. And if you chose a certain color to add an additional line like this, you're going to use that color to color in this area or this area, and maybe another for the other side. So go ahead and finish up your coloring.